I used to work out a lot with weights, and the check comes doing that. Your joints start to hurt, this, back, knees. It just happens. Uh, sometimes getting in that kind of shape can kill you. There's fantastic trainers like Jeff Cavalier on Athlean X. His videos are amazing. But at my age, I found the hardest, toughest, most productive way is bands, training with bands. <laughs> What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthletX.com. Just as Sly said himself, resistance bands can be an incredibly effective training tool if you know how to use them. Today we're gonna to continue our popular series of band training, this time to help you build bigger legs. Whoa, With that whoa, being whoa, said, whoa, oh whoa, my whoa, lord. Whoa, 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 coming from back behind the camera, you say legs, that's my cue, king of quads, what's up? Okay, and quads, where's Tom Platts? Well, you've heard of Coke and Diet Coke, right? Uh, yes, I have. Well, you got Tom Platts and Diet Tom Platts. So, if you don't mind, I would like to get to demonstrating some of these exercises with my beautiful legs and, even better, my beautiful shorts. If you don't mind, I'd like to explain the exercises because that's something you don't know anything about. Well, how about you explain them, I demonstrate them. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so all we're doing is keeping them waiting at this point. So, first exercise up is... At what point did I actually lose control of this channel? That's what I'd like to know. All right, so let's talk about the first exercise up here. But before we do, I think it's important to talk about a caveat about band training. For those out there who think, I can't build muscle with bands, yes you can. Realize that bands are not a replacement for or a substitute for the other types of training. They're a complement to a properly performed training program. And we can see that we can actually take exercises that you're already doing right now, utilize bands, and improve the ability of that exercise to simulate muscle growth because we're introducing new stress at different points in the range of motion as we manipulate the strength curves. So if you look at the first exercise up here, it's the banded reverse lunge. We all know the benefits of a reverse lunge in terms of being a great solid leg exercise. But by applying the band around our waist and performing it as I'm doing here, importantly by starting in this stepped out resisted position, we finish in that stepped out resisted position. What that means is we're actually applying resistance to leg extension and making those quads work as we get to the top of every single one of these repetitions. A lot of times people will place the band around their waist and then lunge out against the resistance of the band, but all that does is actually pull you back to the starting position, taking away some of the work from the quads. This is not doing that. You have to overcome the resistance of the band, and therefore it makes a good exercise, or one of my favorite exercises, even better. And that brings me to the next exercise here. It's the banded pistol squat. And one thing that bands can do here is actually allow you to do an exercise that may actually be too difficult for you to do right now. So we go back again to that idea that bands can't actually help you build muscle. This is taking an exercise that oftentimes is too hard for people. And it's a great way to overload. But because it's too hard, you can't even do it. Well, bands will actually allow you to assist the move. So with the pistol squat, I'm actually able to manipulate how much tension I have or assistance I have to get me through that repetition. You can either wrap it up a little bit tighter around your hands for more assistance or sort of let up on the reins a little bit for less assistance. Either way, applying overload in the form of a single leg squat, which can be particularly helpful, especially for those that are dealing with muscle imbalances or simply just never do single leg versions of squats. Exercise number three here proves it's not all about Jesse's infatuation with the king of quads. We also have the other side of our body here, the posterior chain, and this exercise does an amazing job of hitting them both at the same time. We're talking about the banded bridge and curl. And what I like to see here is that you anchor the bands around your ankles and back up away from the anchor point. Now when you pull your heels in towards your butt, you're obviously activating the hamstrings through knee flexion. But we can take it a step further, an important step further, by bridging. Because we know that through the bridge, we can get glute activation at the same time we have that activation of the hamstrings, and that is how you want to train them. If you can train your hamstrings and glutes to work together as they prefer to, you not only have a better exercise option here that's perfectly suited here to bands, but one that's going to fortify you against injuries like hamstring strains and hip strains. And speaking of the posterior chain, exercise number four is another exercise that gives us a chance to hit both the hamstrings and the glutes at the same time. And we're talking about the banded step through. And you hang the band up here on the pull-up bar and you're stepping down and through, trying to get that leg into full extension back behind your body because we know we can get good full glute activation by doing so. This is an exercise that I had WWE superstar Drew McIntyre do when he was here. Obviously, different dimensions and size than Jesse demonstrating, but you get the point. The exercise is the exercise, and the muscles and benefits are the same. 
Exercise number five takes another one of my favorite exercises and applies a different twist to it because of the utilization of the band. It's the Bulgarian split squat. You can see that you can perform this exercise the same way, except this time utilizing the bands instead of weights. But what that does is it introduces a different resistance curve, right? We know that as we get to the top of the exercise, we have the most resistance where with the dumbbells, we would actually start to peter out as we got towards the top. So this is a case where I would love to see somebody have both the band and dumbbells in their hands to create those overlapping strength curves. But again, even just the utilization of the band is enough to provide a different stimulus on a great exercise and therefore give you a great option for building your legs. And that brings us to the next two exercises here in the list. And these are going to both focus on terminal knee extension, meaning the leg extension without doing a leg extension. And we still get benefits here. As a matter of fact, I think better benefits because we're doing these in a closed chain style. So I'm talking about there's a TKE split squat drop. So closed chain, meaning you have your feet in contact with the ground throughout, which provides a more normal ground reaction force to stimulate the kinetic chain as it should be, as opposed to some open-ended machine based leg extension. Now what we get is the ability to still resist that knee extension though at the top of the exercise. And as you come to the top, you pull back against the resistance of that BAM, really creating that same leg extension feel and that quad contraction in addition to the benefits of the traditional split squat as well. I've used this with a lot of my athletes here. It's one of the best ways to overload that last little bit of leg extension and build up those quads. Which brings us to exercise number seven, that other exercise for leg extension. This is called a banded leg extension. And though this can't mimic the same overload that you would get from, let's say, a 125 pound leg extension, it is resisting knee extension in that final 20 or 30 degrees. You wrap the band around the back of your legs and allow it to bend your knees forward. All you have to do, again, close chain, feet in contact with the ground, is simply drive your knees back against the resistance of that band. If you have never tried this before, do so. I promise you an intense quad contraction and one that you'll see will benefit you, particularly if you gave up doing leg extensions a long time ago because they hurt your knees. And that brings us to exercise number eight. When we're talking about building your legs, it's not just about quads and or even glutes and hamstrings, but about everything in your lower body. And we're talking about the hips here as well. And the banded frog press is one of the best ways to hit those often overlooked hip rotators. So what you do is you double up the band like Jesse's doing here, and you wrap it around your knees. You lay back on the floor, feet together, and rest the outsides of your feet on the ground. You're going to simply bridge up and down from here, but holding out isometrically against the resistance of the band to get those hip external rotators firing. The combination of the press from this position and the resisted ISO from this position are enough to create an immense overload on muscle groups that are oftentimes just simply overlooked. Not anymore if you start incorporating this. We know that one of the main functions of the hamstrings is not just to bend the knee, but it's also to assist in hip extension. And we could get that here with the single leg RDL performed with the band. And I'm not so concerned here about having you maintain your balance on the exercise. So it's okay, as Jesse's doing here, to put your foot back behind you as almost a little bit of a kickstand for balance control. However, as you drive yourself to the top, you want to drive your butt forward against the resistance of the band, which is going to activate not just your hamstrings, but your glutes as well. Keeping your knee a little bit more straight here will shift the load primarily to the hamstrings, allowing the knee to bend a little bit more will shift the load a little bit more posteriorly to the glutes. Either way, it's a great posterior chain exercise and one that's going to provide you benefits if you're looking for one with bands. Exercise number 10 here is actually worth the price of admission. This is called the reverse leg press. You can see it actually looks just like you're performing a leg press in reverse. So what you're doing is you're hanging that band high up on a pull-up bar and not just pulling it in with your heels, but pulling down and in. As I mentioned before, training the glutes and the hamstrings at any time at the same time is always going to be the best way to do it. This reverse leg press is one you're going to have to try. And that brings us to one of my favorite unilateral exercises here, performed with anything, either dumbbells or in this case bands, and it's the step up. And we could get the benefits of this exercise and actually tweak them once again because the resistance curve of the bands provides a different stimulus. And what we do is as we step up, we're stretching that band with every inch we get up towards full extension. So we're maxing out the resistance of the band at the very top of the lift. When we hold dumbbells, we're changing that up a little bit. It's hardest if we start to initiate the move from that bent knee. Again, bands introducing a different stimulus here that oftentimes is just enough to allow you an opportunity for overload simply because you're doing something you've never done before. So how'd I do? I, I mean... Well, also, I noticed that you said uh, during the demonstrations, I, 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 you know, I did this, I did that. You didn't do shit. That was all me. By the way, what do you think of my shorts? Okay, you can get out of here. You and your shorts out oh, right now. On. 
Guys, listen, no, I didn't do anything in this video, but I'm providing you with the tools now that you can do it. If you're looking for exercises, guys, a complete program now, we actually have one called Athlean Elastics available over at athleanist.com, a complete band only training program. If you like this video and found it helpful, if you want more in the series, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. And if you haven't done so, make sure you click subscribe, turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.